Okay. Okay, so in this video, just want to present a quick overview of the primary standards of measurement, which is ma of uh, mass, length, and time. The mass being the unit being the kilogram, length being the meter, and time being the second. Just a quick overview. Uh, you can actually find much better videos on YouTube uh, that describe this. They go into a lot of detail about the defining the kilogram, the meter, and the second. I'm just going to give you a quick overview. Okay, well let's start with length. I just feel to rather start with length. And the meter, which is the unit that we use for length, was originally defined. Okay, so if that's the Earth, and there's Paris, okay, and there's the equator, then the meter was originally defined as one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole through Paris to the equator. One ten millionth. And of course, uh, that was not super reliable. So they, take, they took this length, this one ten millionth, and they created a platinum iridium bar. Okay? A bar. That is meant to be one meter. Uh, made of platinum iridium. Okay? And it was stored in Paris. And you can correct me, but there's, there's probably a, a number of copies that were made and stored throughout the earth. But the problem with a physical copy... Uh, defining how long a meter is, is that uh, it's difficult to access it. If you're, say, in another country and you want to access this physical copy to make sure that your definition of a meter is correct. So there was this physical copy, this physical object somewhere in Paris, and that just made it very complicated to, to calibrate a, a, a meter based on this. And the other reason is that these guys either increase their mass or decrease their mass. And so this measurement is not very reliable. So what scientists wanted to do is they wanted to um, they wanted to define these uh, units of kilogram, meter, second. They wanted to define them not based on physical objects, but based on universal physical constants which are independent of anywhere in the universe okay so let's come back to the meter they took this uh, this meter this length and they and they went and measured uh, wavelengths of a specific at atom okay uh, the radiation of an atom so this an atom the specific Krypton 86 atom um, as it's radiating, it gives off wavelengths of this radiation. And so they measured uh, this value to be close to the meter, and they defined the meter as this many wavelengths. Okay? Right? This many wavelengths of the specific radiation of this atom. And this was the definition, 1,650,763.73 wavelengths defined the meter. You see the idea is that they've now moved from a physical object to a physical constant, right? So anywhere in the universe, the radiation of this atom um, is the same, and these wavelengths would then be invariant. They, they, they can be measured anywhere in the universe. Right? Then, after this, they decided to define, I don't know why it's not included here, they decided to define the meter in terms not of the wavelengths of this at, uh, the radiation of this atom, but in terms of the speed of light. Okay? The speed of light. So again, they measured how fast uh, the speed of light is. And then they define, which is this, 
uh, million seven hundred ninety two thousand four hundred fifty eight meters per second that's the speed of light and they said well let's define the meter as the reciprocal of this the, the meter is then the length that light travels in one over two hundred ninety nine seven nine two four five eight seconds so the the meter is defined as the length that light travels in this many seconds okay so again I w just like to impress this upon you the idea is that we're taking the meter and we're 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 removing our dependence on a physical object and defining it in terms of a universal constant, the speed of light, which is the same everywhere in the universe. Okay? So, please go and watch these uh, videos. Why is a meter a meter? SciShow. And the other one is Demise of the Kilogram. I know it's, I know it's meter, but inside this video, he, sp he speaks about uh, defining a, a meter. Okay, Demise of the Kilogram 60 Symbols. Very good videos. Uh, other videos, how we are redefining the kilogram, okay, uh, by Veritasium. And the kilogram is dead, long live the kilogram by Veritasium. These two videos also, they explain this idea of moving away from physical objects to invariant universal physical constants, okay. All right, so that's the meter. It's defined then in terms of the speed of light. It is the distance that light travels in that many seconds. Now, what about the kilogram? Again, long story, but the kilogram was first uh, defined as the mass of one liter of water. Okay, one liter of water, and which is one deci cubic decimeter of water. Okay. And then they took this and then they made, in 1799, they made a physical object made of platinum. Uh, of platinum. A physical object. Okay, cylinder. And then they updated this in 1899, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that was called the IPK, the International Prototype of the Kilogram. Again, it's a physical object that defined the kilogram. And it was made of platinum iridium. And then there was tons of these copies around the world. Okay. That were defined in terms of this physical copy. And again, the scientists wanted to move away from physical copies. And move to more universal constants. And again, please go watch these videos. Much more detailed than I can do. But now, it is... The kilogram is no longer defined in terms of this physical copy in Paris and multiple copies around the world, but it's redefined in terms of Planck's constant, which also is a universal value, a universal constant. Okay? And then finally, time. Time was originally defined as this fraction of a day, 1 over 86,400. Why is that? Because... 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds gives you this value. But again, it's not reliable because these solar days would not be the same. Every solar day would not be the same. So again, scientists want to, go, uh, want to uh, not be dependent on something that fluctuates, but on a, a universal constant, which was then taken to be the duration again of an atom something to do with an atom the duration of this many periods of the radiation of a specific state of the cesium-133 atom so this 133 atom cesium-133 atom has a certain kind of vibration and uh, for, in its radiation and um, we define then the time uh, as this many periods of that radiation. Okay? Alright, I think that's okay. I'll see you in the next one.